Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over a quick tip that I use when filtering data that has gaps in it. So if you work in finance and accounting and you deal with financial statements, you might have data that's that's sorted like this where you've got your, your income statement and you've got gaps in between the lines because obviously you want to separate maybe revenue and cost of revenue versus operating expenses and other expenses and in, in income and then your net income. The downside of, of these gaps is if I go to the data tab and let's say I want to filter because let's say you've got a huge income statement, you want to filter through certain sections, certain items. If I hit the filter button, I click this, you know, it's only going to include revenue and cost of revenue. And the reason this happens is because this is not a continu the continuous range. It detects the continuous range. It only stops once there's a gap. So that gap is right here because this is, you know, there's nothing here. If I were to delete this row, you know, then my data would go further. So I'm going to unfilter it, refilter it, and now you can see it's going to include general and admin now. It's going to go all the way down here, but now it's going to stop here because, again, we've got that gap. So you could remove all the gaps, but then the downside of that now is your data is not as not as easy to read as it was before when you've got the breaks because visually it's a bit easier. You know, when you've got these breaks, you know, this is your, you know, cost of goods, your revenue section, this is your operating, and it's it's easier to read an income statement that way. So what I do, an easy workaround to, to fix this is for any places that you've got gaps, just enter a single space. So if I just hit space bar, enter, then go down here, space bar, enter, and do the same thing for anywhere that I've got the gaps. Now what's going to happen is Excel is going to detect something in those cells. So now if I were to double click on here, that goes all the way to the bottom. So that's one continuous range now. So I'm going to unfilter this and now I'm going to hit, I'm going to select revenue right at the top again, hit the filter button and this time you can see it's got everything including net income. So it's going all the way down now because it doesn't have those gaps. Even though it looks empty because there's just even a single space in here, Excel is detecting that as having some, some sort of value in there. So by just entering a single blank, you know, you keep that range going and now you've got the advantage of being able to access this filter. Now, one thing to note, if you don't want the filter button applying for, for these years, what you can do is unfilter this and then just spe specify the exact range that you want to include. So you want to include the one uh, blank immediately above uh, where you want to filter. So that way it picks up this, this revenue item, the first item. Now when I click it, I've only got the filter applying for that. So now when I click on this, I can just select, you know, a specific item and it'll filter for that. And so it makes it a lot easier to, you know, review the data and analyze, especially like I said, if you've got a big income statement uh, to apply a filter to it. And then when you're done, unfilter it and you've still got that, you know, more visually appealing income statement versus everything being clumped together. Um, so this allows you to have the best of both worlds, being able to filter it and at the same time being able to see your data visually in, a, in an easy way where you can um, easily understand it and uh, analyze it. So hope you found this tip useful and thanks so much for watching.